Here we are in the middle of little Haiti, Miami, at this little gem we have here in this neighborhood, uh, the Little Haiti Cultural Center, which for this particular exhibit, which uh, happened probably a week before the start of the pandemic, um, and uh, we felt, or I felt, that it is time to present for a wider audience than the ones that managed to be here for the opening. Um, my name is Arden Sherman, and I am the director and curator of uh, one of the galleries at Hunter College. Well, can you tell us, uh, uh, okay, why did you zoom in into the Francophone uh, Caribbean? In this, in this show, we have a good mixture. I'd say this, you know, I always say that this exhibition lies in a gray area, um, an area that's not quite European, it's not quite Caribbean. Um, it's this sort of in-between zone. Um, and it's all, there's just, just a nice medley going on, a nice story of just people making work. And, um, you know, there are definite, there's definite history here and there's many threads that go through this, these works. So tell us about some of the artists. The artists in this exhibition really play the, all the fields um, where they express their personal relationships to heritage, navigating art making in the global contemporary art world. Um, the works are also placed in direct conversation with each other. So um, I really think of this as this viewing, viewing this exhibition as an experience. Um, you're, it's an olfactory experience that smells like bananas when you walk in, you hear um, really loud composition. Um, made in 1966 by the Haitian composer Carmen Broward. They're placed in proximity to each other where in some cases they're almost touching and talking to one another. We were I was really interested in and in what you spoke about as the kind of relationship of the archipelago and um, you know the connection um, underground and amongst you know this, the islands as being um, connected through sand and through these land masses. So there's a lot of that that I wanted to evoke just in the experiential. For this exhibition, I worked with Arden Sherman to create a second iteration of the Dust Specks on the Sea um, program that started at the Hunter Harlem East Gallery. So the artists that I, I selected for this uh, exhibition for the most part include all local Miami artists with the exception of one artist from Martinique that I had the pleasure of meeting during um, Tilting Access when we were there. So, you know, our world is, is not that big. That Miami and the South Florida is more, it's not really south of the United States, it's more north of the Caribbean. We are, you know, despite all the challenges that are currently coming our way and have come our way now that we're facing like new kind of travel restrictions, we are very much a part of the Caribbean and we're, that hub where you, you come in, you get what you need, and maybe you go back to the islands and continue the work you're doing there. Or for a lot of artists, they come here to, you know, have a larger platform that they can build, you know, more, more connections. But they're still, you know, really Big wanting challenges. to, yeah, it's, there's challenges, yeah. And, and a lot of these artists, they don't necessarily want to leave their island home. So I'm gonna talk about this work today by Kira Tippenhauer. She is a local artist living here in Miami, originally from Port-au-Prince, Haiti. Uh, this work here is called Dambala Series Selections. So it's a selection of different um, ceramic works that incorporate textiles that she combines in different um, ways depending on how she's exhibiting it within an exhibition or wherever she's placing it for, for people to view. This work here by Jude Papaloko Thegenis is called Ezeli Danto. And he made this work um, based off a, a, a previous work that we um, were interested in featuring, one of his earlier sculptures. And so he revived this work um, just for this show. And actually a lot of artists did specific commissions for this um, exhibition, which also makes it really special. Here is a collaborative piece by Michelle Lisa Polissant and Naja Moon two artists that are local to Miami. Um, the title's quite long, I'm gonna read it for you, if you give me a moment. It's, how, Who's the Fool? How to Patch a Leaky Roof. And this is also the proverb that is written here in Creole on the umbrella. 
And this is a really, it's a fun project, but it's also compelling in, in what it asks the viewers to think about and to consider. Um, so if you have ever spent any time in Miami, especially around the Little Haiti or the Midtown area, specifically the Design District, there are these blue umbrellas that say Design District on them, and it's a brand that travels far and wide. These umbrellas are given away for free. Um, when you see one of those umbrellas, you know that person either went to the Design District or somebody brought that to them from Miami. It's a very kind of Miami symbol. So this, um, this work takes that kind of uh, popular commercial product recognition on and turns it on its head to address issues of gentrification that we are currently facing here in Little Haiti, Miami.